There's a donkey we'd like you to see today called Poppy. She's been struggling with uh, a clogging up of her sinuses, causing her a lot of discomfort, and we just simply can't unblock her nose. Poppy is suffering with something called sinusitis, which is an inflammatory condition of the nasal passages. It can be caused by a number of different things, anything from just a pure infection or as a result of something more sinister like cancer. Oh my God. There you go. Right. Yeah, Jesus, so that was gross. The patient resides at a sanctuary that looks after abandoned donkeys. Hello, Derek. Hello, Scott. How are you? Hello. Welcome to the Isle of Wight. Welcoming really? Scott really? is the sanctuary's yeah, manager, Derek. We've got 93 donkeys. Wow. They lead a fantastic life. These donkeys are part of the heritage of this island. They pulled the milk floats, they worked the beaches of Shanklin and Sandown and Ride. These donkeys didn't ask to be made homeless, they didn't ask to be abandoned, and were determined that they'll have a proper home here because without us feeding them and looking after them, they have nothing. Well, they seem very happy yeah, and very healthy, but I hear that you've actually got a donkey that's not too healthy, is that right? There's a donkey we'd like you to see today called Poppy. Okay. She's one of our most popular donkeys. Right. She's been struggling with uh, a clogging up of her sinuses, causing her a lot of discomfort, and we just simply can't unblock her nose. And so it's been a tough few weeks for her. Yeah. Oh, you are nice. Like you a lot. Yes, even with your gunky nose, eh? Hey? Farm manager Julia has been looking after Poppy, but the donkey's deteriorating condition has now forced her to choose more invasive treatment. So how long has she had a snotty nose for? A couple of weeks. We've noticed there was a little bit of discharge, so we used to clean her nose, mm -hmm. but then the discharge didn't stop. It was more and more and more. Poppy is suffering with something called sinusitis, which is an inflammatory condition of the nasal passages. It can be caused by a number of different things, anything from just a pure infection or as a result of something more sinister like cancer. OK, let me introduce you to our vet. Always willing to expand his expertise, Scott will be learning some Hi. new veterinary Hello. tricks Hello. Hello. from Hello. equine Hello. vets Hello. Kate Hello. and Larry Hi, as they you? try nice to unblock to Poppy's nose. We've brought the x-ray along to show you. I think it gives you a really good visual idea of what's going on. And we can see we've got the white line across here, which is fluid and pus accumulating underneath. So that's a pool of snot, basically. Pretty much snot, pus, general mankiness that we need to get out. So what we're going to be doing today is drilling into that sinus and releasing all that gunk, flushing it all out and making her feel a lot better. So we're actually going to drill a hole into Poppy's head. We're actually going to drill a hole into Poppy's head through the skull, take a bit of bone out, have a look inside her head. Oh my goodness, we've just fallen in love and now you're going to affect her looks. On the Isle of Wight, Scott's assisting with an operation to clean out rescue donkey Poppy's badly infected sinuses. Equine vets Kate and Lara make up the surgical team. She is going to have a hole drilled into her nose, but she's not going to be knocked out fully, which just shows how resilient and how tough these beautiful creatures really are. Ready for this? <sighs> Ready as I'll ever be, yeah. Okay. The concern is the donkey's infection may be caused by a tumour in her nasal passages. The only way to know is to go inside and take a look. All right, I'm ready for it. Just go with the flow, yeah. yeah. So just if you guys tell me if you're happy with the positioning. Pushing this drill into Poppy's head, it's quite a frightening experience because you think, you know, how far is this going to go? It will take a little while, so it's not an instantaneous thing. Procedures on farm animals are often done under local anaesthetic to avoid the risk of a general anaesthetic and the stress of moving them from their normal environment to a hospital. That's oh. the hardest bit, is getting started. Oh, Poppy, my God. He'll feel it as it goes through. You almost get a pop and you get a relief of the pressure as you're pushing on it. So he'll suddenly dive in and then he'll be through into the sinus. OK, she's going back. <laughs> Oh, my God. There you go. Right. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. that was gross. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, that was revolting. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. sweetie, but that was okay. horrid. Does it feel like it's free? Finally, I pop through, and it's quite a sickening feeling, but now we can have good access into the nasal cavity and see what's causing that infection for Poppy. It's amazing. So I'm just using the endoscope, and I can see normal, healthy mucosa, which is sort of the membrane covering the nasal cavity, and then a bit of a pool of gross stuff. We haven't found any tumours or anything nasty, so hopefully it's a really good result for Poppy. 
but does seem like this is a fairly classic sinusitis and with good flushing over the next week and antibiotics, Poppy should make a full recovery. Keep the girly puppet. A draining tube will stay in place for a few days to make sure the sinuses are totally cleared. Despite the fact that she's now got a hole in her head, she's probably thinking, yeah, this is a good day. <laughs> wow. Well, she's had some bad days, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you OK? Yeah, you're lovely. Well, you know, you probably looked nicer, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At the Isle of Wight, right. Poppy's recovering well oh, from invasive moves, surgery to clean Here out her infected sinuses. Here we go. Good girl, hey? Hey? Yeah, good girl. Nasty surgery. Didn't ruin your appetite, did it? Good girl, and you don't have a snotty nostril anymore. Wow. I'm just so amazed at how strong and brave and stoic these creatures are. I've drilled a hole into this poor girl's face, and she's still nuzzling up to me, giving me kisses. She must be feeling better. Good girl. Come on, then. Let's get you in. In we go. Come on, man. Oh, Let's go look see who it is. There she yeah, is. Happy Poppy. There we go. Hello, Poppy. Ah. Bella's and cool now to see Poppy you. is up to having oh. visitors. <laughs> Sanctuary <laughs> manager Derek has there dropped in are. with one of her oh. best mates. How are you? And everybody looks very concerned over the wall, I can see. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's been quite the audience today. I've felt under pressure, but hopefully I've uh, delivered. Brilliant. I'm very lucky to come here to work with these incredible vets and to see Derek and all the great work that he's doing here. These animals need these people and together it's a beautiful relationship. They're beautiful animals and they're really lucky to have a wonderful place to live. Thanks for having me and I hope that uh, Poppy makes a full recovery. That's great. Thanks Derek, you look after that girl for me. Bye Poppy. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below that way.